All right, so last time we worked on getting a, a base dialog laid out for our plugin. Uh, and my user interface dialog, I've cleaned it up a little bit to look like this. Um, you can make yours look how you want. This is how I've decided to do mine. Now what we want is for this to show up just like this in our plugin. So let's go over to QGIS and see how we're looking. Make sure you save this dialog when you're done. Uh, we'll head over to QGIS and our goal for, for this, this video is to get this to show up uh, in the QGIS GUI. So let's head over here um, and our plugins over here. Notice we see buffer clip pop up. Let's click on that. And even though I've saved my UI file, uh, I don't have anything showing up here. And the reason for that is we still have to build and deploy our plugin. And the way we do that is we're going to come back over and we're going to use PV tool. So remember our environment we set up, our PyQGIS uh, shell we, we created earlier? We're going to use that. So let's open this up. And we need to navigate to the directory where we're, where we're building our plugin. Uh, so I'm going to just get there. And uh, we'll just check this by listing things out. And sure enough, that looks like it's my, my plugin. So now I can use PB tool to build this. So I'll just review PB tool with you real quick. We installed this earlier. So PB tool and what I want to do uh, is deploy. Deploy the plugin to the QGIS plugin directory. And so since I'm already in my plugin directory, I can just type in PB tool space deploy. Move the mouse out of the way so you can see it. And I'll hit enter. Um, yes, I'll proceed. It tells me the directory it's going to deploy it to there. And it's installing things. Uh, we have a Sphinx warning. That's not a big deal. And we should be built. So now it should work, right? Let's come over and click on it. We still have the same thing. Now remember we installed Plugin Reloader. Here's where this is going to come into play. We want to reload this plugin. So we're going to come to Plugin Reloader. We're going to go to Configure. And we want to make this buffer clip. Yours might be on Meta Search to start off with. Just change this to buffer clip. Click OK. And then we can click Reload. We should also be able to click F5. Okay, so now I've reloaded this. Let's check my dialog box again. Open it up. Sure enough, uh, we have everything in there. We can adjust our spin box. Um, we can type in the line edits. Um, these buttons don't work yet. We haven't coded anything into these, and we haven't coded anything into these either. Um, but there you go. We've successfully reloaded this plugin. We've got it set up and our dialog set up. Um, please let me know if you have any questions and so we can get this working for you. This is the last video I'm going to post from the course that is about how to build these plugins with QGIS. And I hope these have been helpful for you. If you would like to continue on, the course is available at opensourceoptions.teachable.com and I'll include a link in the description below. Um, just want to let you know about that. Until the end of April, this course is going to be offered at a big discount. It's only going to cost $10 for the full course, which is over two and a half hours of video lectures in which you'll develop two plugins. And part of that will be uh, showing you how to use a plugin to be able to import the Google Earth imagery, Esri imagery, and Bing imagery into QGIS. Um, the other plugin will cover geoprocessing and developing and coding uh, user interface forms with Qt Designer and PyQt. So I wanted to let you know about that. I hope you've enjoyed these. Um, there will be more courses coming out in the future. And thanks for watching, guys. Um, please subscribe if you like it, and so you can be notified of the new stuff that's coming out.